The primary method through which COVID-19 is spreading is being contested by scientists. Here's what you need to know. Airborne transmission of COVID-19 is not simply possible. There is consistent, strong evidence that this is the dominant method by which it spreads, according to a new review article published in the Lancet Medical Journal. The authors of the review suggest that an overemphasis on spread through large respiratory droplets at close range could mean public health policies have been misdirected. In scientific briefings made available on its website, the WHO defines aerosols as being less than 5 micrometers in diameter and respiratory droplets as being greater than 5 micrometers in diameter. However, The Lancet states that droplets with diameters of up to 100 micrometers may be able to spread the virus through the air. Foremost among its justifications for this claim is the role of superspreader events in spreading COVID-19. These events, whereby a large number of people in the same area are infected with the virus, cannot be explained by close-range respiratory droplets or fomites, the review says. Further evidence in the same direction comes from observations of transmission between people in adjacent rooms in quarantine hotels, but never in each other's presence. This is not the first time the WHO's emphasis on short-range respiratory droplet and fomite transmission has been questioned. In February, science journal Nature suggested that investing in costly disinfection efforts could have meant underinvesting in more effective ventilation systems. The WHO itself remains reticent about drawing firm conclusions on the airborne versus short-range respiratory droplet debate, with the report it commissioned concluding that the lack of recoverable viral culture samples of the virus prevents us from doing so. Now that you've learned more about the problem, how about learning about the solutions? Check out our COVID vaccine explainer videos now. Pfizer and BioNTech announced on Monday, November 9th, that their coronavirus vaccine is more than 90% effective in preventing COVID-19 in those who have not previously been infected with the virus. Here is how the vaccine works. An mRNA vaccine is based on the genetic sequence of the novel coronavirus and not the actual virus. mRNA is short for messenger RNA. Pfizer and BioNTech's SARS-CoV-2 vaccine uses the genetic blueprint for the spike protein that codes the virus, according to information published on Pfizer's website. The spike protein is used to synthesize an mRNA sequence. This is packaged into a lipid nanoparticle carrier. Lipid nanoparticles protect the mRNA from degradation inside the body and facilitate facilitate its delivery to the targeted cells. The lipid nanoparticle carrier transfers the mRNA and its copies of genetic instructions to the cytoplasm of a cell, where the ribosomes are found. Once inside the cell, the mRNA instructs the ribosomes to produce the coronavirus's spike protein. By itself, the spike protein is harmless. The spike protein is then displayed on the surface of the cell. This simulates a coronavirus infection, thus triggering the body to mount an immune system response. Reuters reports that Pfizer and BioNTech said that they have found no serious safety concerns and expect to seek U.S. emergency use authorization this month. Phase 3 clinical trials enrolled 43,000 participants and it reported only 94 lab-confirmed COVID-19 infections. So when might this vaccine be available at a medical facility near you? Pfizer and BioNTech said if granted authorization, they could produce up to 50 million doses in 2020. Each vaccine requires two doses. Then they could produce 1.3 billion doses in 2021. Of course, someone will have to pay for this. In July, the two companies reached an agreement with the U.S. to supply 100 million doses for 2 billion U.S. dollars as part of the Trump administration's Operation Warp Speed. Oh, and the vaccine has to be stored at temperatures of minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. But as Anthony Fauci told CNN, the bottom line is, as a vaccine it's more than 90% effective, which is extraordinary. The University of Oxford and AstraZeneca say their vaccine is 90% effective in preventing COVID-19 in clinical trials. The vaccine works in a different way than those from Pfizer and Moderna, and it may be easier to distribute. Here is how it works. The COVID-19 vaccine made by AstraZeneca and the University of Oxford uses a genetically modified common cold virus from chimpanzees altered with blueprints for the coronavirus's spike protein. The coronavirus's outer coating is covered in spike proteins, which give the virus its crown-like appearance. The spike protein possesses receptor-binding domains, or RBDs, that the virus uses to pry open receptors before penetrating the cellular membrane. The AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine carries a gene with the code for the spike protein that the coronavirus uses to enter a human cell. The spike protein gene is cut from the coronavirus and inserted into a vector, a virus that is weakened so that it cannot grow inside the human body after injection. 
The AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine's chimpanzee adenovirus vector was previously used to make an Ebola vaccine. The chimpanzee adenovirus is genetically modified so that it cannot infect people while the gene with the code of the spike protein is inserted. Once the vector delivers this genetic code to a cell, it causes the cell to produce spike proteins. These spike proteins are harmless on their own, but they could trigger the body to mount an immune response. This response produces antibodies and memory cells that will recognize SARS-CoV-2, the actual virus that causes COVID-19. Unlike Pfizer and Moderna's vaccines, the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine does not need to be frozen, which would make it much easier to distribute. And the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine involves a more traditional method by using a harmless virus as a vector. Pfizer and Moderna's vaccines, if approved, would be the first vaccines ever approved by the FDA to use messenger RNA technology. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.